Now let's talk about teaching with technology. But before the formal discussion, let me get into the definition of technology. Now technology is the branch of knowledge that deals with the creation and use of practical means in their interrelation of life, society and the environment. Drawing upon such subjects is industrial arts, engineering, applied science, and pure science. Now, technology keeps on advancing and it is becoming very essential in our lives. Every day, we use technology to improve on the way we accomplish specific tasks and this is making us look more smarter. Now, technology is also being used in many ways to simplify every aspect of our lives and being used as well in various sectors. Just like for example, we use technology in education to improve on the way we learn. We also use technology in business to gain competitive advantage and to improve on customer care services and relationships. We also use technology in agriculture to improve on agricultural outputs and to save time. We also use technology in classrooms to improve the way our students learn and to make the teacher's job easier. We also use technology in healthcare to reduce on mortality rate. We also use technology for transportation as a way of saving time. And we also use technology in communication to speed the flow of information and it is also being used for home entertainment. We also use technology at the workplace to spend less time working and to increase production. Now to sum up everything according to Aristotle, technology is an arrangement of techniques to make possible and serve the attainment of human ends. Now, there are seven reasons on why students need technology according to Chanel Sutherland. Now, the first one would be it helps connect students to the real world. Now, technology allows educators to remove all the physical barriers of the classroom, offering students a way to connect the curriculum with the real world. Now, the second one would be it prepares students for the workforce. To thrive in the 21st century workplace, Students need to have more than a working knowledge of certain technological tools, just like for example, electronic calendars, web pages, teleconferencing, electronic whiteboards, and etc. The third one would be encourages collaboration. The fourth one is access information more easily. Now, technology makes it easier for students to find information quickly and accurately. The next one would be teaches students how to be responsible online. Now with social media sites galore, most of the students are already digital citizens. However, by incorporating technology into the classroom, students can begin to learn how to be responsible in the digital world. The next one would be as a fan factor to the learning. Outside the classroom, Students use technology in all aspects of their lives. Within the classroom, technology will make learning more fun and exciting. Now, the last one, it supports different types of learners. Now, with technology, educators can address the diversity of learning style. Now, let's proceed to the benefits of using technology. So, the first one would be it improves engagement. The second one is improves knowledge retention. Next is encourages individual learning, encourages collaboration. Students can learn useful life skills through technology. Now, let's proceed to the best practices in higher education. Good practice encourages context between students and faculty. Good practice develops reciprocity and cooperation among students. Good practice uses active learning techniques. And lastly, good practice gives prompt feedback. Now, why do we need technology? 
Now, technology is very important because it makes you feel more secure with every area in life for both personal and business reason. And with technology advancing, more people are able to have access to supplies such as fresh water in food because technology can help deliver those items to people that otherwise couldn't get it. In other words, technology makes our lives easier by giving us all the access on everything that we want to do in life. Blended learning. What is blended learning? Now, I guess we are so familiar with it. So, this is an approach to education that combines online educational materials and opportunities for interaction online with traditional place-based classroom methods. Now, this is one of the examples of the blending learning models. Alright, now let's proceed to instructional technology. Instructional technology is to create engaging, effective learning experiences using available technological tools for pedagogical purposes and motivation. Now, what is learner-centered teaching? Learner-centered teaching focuses attention on what the student is learning, how the student is learning, the condition under which the student is learning, whether the student is retaining or applying the learning, and how current learning positions the student for future learning. Technology integration. Now, technology, when integrated into the curriculum, it revolutionizes the learning process. More and more, studies show that technology integration in the curriculum improves students' learning processes and outcomes. Teachers who recognize computers as problem-solving tools change the way they teach. Alright, so this is one of the examples of learner-centered principles. Alright, so let's proceed to PowerPoint. There are some basic rules in making a PowerPoint presentation. So the first one would be keep it simple. Next is make bullet points. Use graphics. Keep wording concise. Keep font size large to make it readable. The last one is you are the star, not the presentation. In other words, in other words, you just not you should not just rely on the presentation. Now, let's proceed to internet-based technologies. So, we have internet, email, listservs or discussion boards, video conferencing, whiteboards, and lastly is the personal digital assistance or what we call as PDA. Now, let's proceed to infusing technologies in classrooms. So, how is technology used as a tool to enhance education? The first one is communicate. Second one is collaborate, content engagement, organization, or management. Now, we have the top 10 integration tips. The first one is start with the lesson you are very familiar with tips and have taught before. Second one is focus on the learning objective. Third is make it interactive and fun. Fourth is problem-based activities will engage and make relevant for students. The next one would be do it yourself first. See one, do one, and teach one. Next is build relationships. Talk about copyright often. Know the standards, state, and ATS, information literacy standards. Now, revise teaching style to accommodate technology, or what we call as adaptation. Use peer observations and online video demonstrations as often as possible to learn more. Tap into your students' creativity. So, those are all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something about the video. Thank you so much and have a good day. For those who are not yet done subscribing to my YouTube channel, please do click the subscribe button here and click the notification bell and select all for more updates.